What is good, everybody? It's your man, Anonymous Bleach. And as you can see, praise Jesus, we got it done with the stupid fucking bow. To be honest, I make it sound worse than it really is. Nah, then again, it really does kind of suck. But, you know, it's all about timing and proper placements. And I'll get into those tips right when we get up next to starting to pull out the bastard. But let's start with the class setup. You can see here, your boy's rocking the KM44 with the fast mags. We also got that deadly combination of the quick draw and stock, easy to move around corners and quick enough to pull up on a dumb motherfucker playing with his dinghy. Uh, for the perk slots, we have got Ghost followed up with Afterburner, not Afterburner, Overclock, Jesus help me, you know what the Overclock's for so we can get this bad boy a little bit quicker. Then we also rocking Scavenger to replenish the ammo, and in this class we are rocking Blast Suppressor just to be able to kind of stay off the map radar and jump around roof to roof because there's a lot of jump points on this map. Just a little quick setup for anybody new that is curious on what I think works best to go for this stupid motherfucker. Alright, so getting into tips. As you can see here, I'm playing Domination on that clip that I actually unlock uh, the hero armor for the bow on. You'll see that we're actually playing, I think I was doing ground war team deathmatch or whatever. So it's really based on, oh my lord, I sprayed and prayed right there. God help me. Uh, sometimes I just don't understand why my fucking, like, turning, yeah, that's what it was adjusting there, is my turn, like, why was it so low? Anyway, it really depends on if you like playing Team Deathmatch, and you can hit a bunch of your shots right away without having to worry about a slow recharge, but really, it's it's a decent recharge in Team Deathmatch, but... That's, all, that's basically all up to you, but you know, it's a little more fast paced in some instances, depending on who you're playing with. Look at this little camping fag. Get out of there, boy. Uh, but nine times out of ten, it's going to be a lot easier to just play domination, because if you play the objective, you can get your specialist a lot quicker. And as always, what's one good thing about domination is the spawns. They are always constant. If you're holding two flags, you know where these boner sacks are coming from. So just use the knowledge that is given to you. I recommend trying to get into ground wars as well, just because more people means more kills, which means, oh, you might get done with this stupid motherfucker faster than you know. The one thing you boy does not recommend is playing hardcore domination or hardcore or anything, to be honest with you, when going for this challenge, because this fucking bow and arrow can't hit the broadside of a barn two fucking feet away. It don't fucking matter if you're Derek Jeter, Cy Young, or fucking LeBron James, you ain't fucking hitting it with this fucking stupid piece of shit. And if you don't know who any of those people are, I pray to God for your soul. Anyway, back to the tips. So, what I would recommend is playing Dom, like I said, and just rank it right on into their spawns here. As long as you know where they're at, obviously no one's spawning here, so I know they're in the building. I'm going to pull this motherfucker out and smoke you, bitch. Uh, tips to actually using this. Oh god, get raped. That dude was about to fuck me in the face. So, tips to actually using this fucking thing that I've learned is to obviously play it like sniping and aim where they're going, if that makes sense. So, anticipate where their actual person's going to be. Like, if they're if you're aiming at them and they're running, say, in front of you or whatever, it might be free kill right here. You're an idiot. Uh, if they're running away from you and they're starting to go to the right, obviously aim a little bit more to the right in front of them, and it'll line up your shot a lot easier because it's just going to anticipate where it's going. Sorry if I made that a lot more confusing than it should have been. The other tip when using the Sparrow that I can carry over from using the Tempest is when you're running low and you don't see anybody, just start fucking spamming that thing because you never know who it's going to hit. I think I got a double off one one time because I just was running low. There was like five or six shots left and I just started spamming it on Hunted towards like the big rock C flag. A flag, whichever fucking side that is. I also recommend pulling that bitch all the way back to get the most power out of it. But you know, sometimes in like that clip that you see there, I just started spamming the ever living shit out of it because I wanted to hit somebody. And you know, to be honest with you, sometimes you won't hit the fucking anything. Like I said before in my previous video, there was one instance where I was running up and there were three or four motherfuckers straight in front of me. I had the bow cocked and it was ready to fucking roll and it went right between every single one of their legs or some shit. Didn't hit one person. Makes no sense. And that lag right there just saved my life. Uh, but besides that, that's really all the tips that you have for it. You just gotta anticipate the spawn, anticipate where someone's gonna be at. The bow and arrow is a really nice thing to use to get those snipers out of the way because you know where snipers are gonna be, especially on this map. They're gonna be up in that little 
what do you want to call it, that corner box area over here to your right. And they'll be up there behind the head glitch just waiting. So pull up on the other side, use those uh, generators or whatever's on top of that roof, and use that as your head glitch, and just start spamming that motherfucker right on in there. But as always, you got to be kind of quick with the fingers. Now besides some of those minor tips, I will tell you about this gameplay here. It is a really solid one. In my opinion, for myself, playing with a really shitty specialist. Uh, but I will let you know that your boy does a dumb dumb here in about five seconds. As you can see, I have a hater and a wraith. And I don't know what I'm doing, but as you can hear, the enemies called in a talent. So, for some reason, I called in my hater. And I was like, oh man, what a fucking idiot. He called his talent in. And then instantly, right after I heard him call it in, because I knew the game was getting over with, or the half... I called him my hater. No fucking clue what I was thinking. I really fucking hate doing that. I, I think maybe I thought I was on the Wraith, and right when I pushed it, I was like, oh, thank God, Wraith. And I was like, oh, nope, your hater's active with a second left. So, just, you know, don't be fucking stupid like me. I do it so often, and it's fucking annoying. There's tons of things that I'm always trying to critique myself on whenever I'm playing. And that would be one of you boys' things, to watch the fucking clock so you know when the game's about to be over and quit being fucking retarded. Other things that I honestly need to work on is anticipating where people are going to be. Always be ADS, no matter what you can do, always be aimed down sight when you're anticipating where someone's going to be. Because just like you play, if you're going to be there, they're going to be there. As long as whoever gets there first, it's usually who wins gunfights. So always anticipate where people are coming from. And I don't do that enough, and I really should, because I could be a lot better player if I just know, like, someone's coming around this corner, and I'm already aiming, just like that. You never know. Someone could be there. So always be on your game, aiming down a corner, and waiting it out. Let's go back to that timing and knowing when to use something, like at the end of a half. Uh, I will give you another example, which I'm finishing off. Ooh, the Wraith going in right now, though, and I'm spamming the fuck out of this thing. So, oh, oh, get it. Oh, that's a point. Oh, give me one more in there. Nope, that's a hit mark. All right, so I'm going for gravity spikes right now, and I will tell you, I had one the other day playing safeguard on hunted, and it was the score side. We're waiting, we're playing defense, and with, like, 0.1 seconds left or whatever, we had their robot stopped with, like, two, three, four feet away from the goal, however you want to call it, on the bridge. And I was laying there because I wanted to see if a bunch of them would rush so I could use the gravity spikes. And I didn't even mean to fucking push it because I knew the clock was running down. But for some reason, your boy's dumbass fucking pushed him anyway. And I jumped up and lost the gravity spikes. And I was so fucking heated because it didn't even count. Like, it just stopped in mid-gravity spike and nothing happened. And I was like, you're fucking kidding me. But luckily, it was all good. I only ended up losing like a little over, a little under half of a bar you know, like half the bar or whatever you want to call it, like where, where it's currently at now on the screen, you can see I had a little bit more than that afterwards, fucking ripper. But I was like, God, I thought I lost it all, and I was so livid at myself. So yeah, just don't be fucking retarded and you'll be cool. Oh, I love this fucking gun right here. I wish I had it more, but too bad there's no fucking range on it. Look at that. But somebody else using it would fucking flash me from a football field's length away. I seriously have only gotten the wrench out of fucking supply drops. I'm going to do what these big YouTubers have been doing and doing the no supply drops, whatever you want to fucking call it, like just not using them at all. Because literally, I get fucking dick every time. I get so many fucking celebrations. Guess what? I'm not going to be fucking using the dab. I'm not a fucking retard. Those things look so damn stupid and they ruin this game. It's not even fucking funny. Like, what happened to good old days where you had World at War Call of Duty? There wasn't jumping around with exosuits or super slides or any of that shit. It was just regular gun skill and map knowledge. We just need a game that goes back to that. Not so much, I mean, the sliding's not that bad, but like power slides where you're flying through rooms, like, it's not realistic. That's not real warfare. They're like, so, Bleach, someday it might be real warfare. Well, guess what, motherfucker? It's 2016, and it ain't now. It shouldn't be now. And don't get your boy wrong. I love playing this. I loved Advanced Warfare, and I love this just for the guns, the action, everything in it in general. Like, it's a very, very good game, in my opinion. But it'd just be nice to get back to the old-fashioned stuff, you know? Ooh, right, we got one more round with the bow. You're going to see your boy rip it out. Uh, but I might as well finish this one up here, y'all. Uh, as always, you know, I just want to say thank you for watching and commenting and letting me know how I'm doing on these. Ooh, give me double. Oh, did I miss? No, I still got him with that. Ooh, oh, stolen kill. Fuck you.
But Chia, y'all, this video winding down here. We about to pop these last ones out. Ooh, ooh, where you at? Oh, how did that miss? Spray, spray, spray. Uh, well, hey, we'll take that double. Yeah, that's, that's it, y'all. The game's over. Your boy just gave him the long dick of the law. But again, just want to say thank you all for everything that you do. Helping my channel grow. It's crazy that we were at 150 just like last week, and now we're up to 168. So give me one more sub, baby. We want to be able to say we got 169, Tamro line. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, again, y'all, thank you very much for everything that you do, helping me grow. And, uh, again, if you're new, like, comment, share, and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. And uh, we on to the next installment. We almost done with Road to Hero, y'all. Can you believe it? Jesus. Oh, the time has flown. But stay tuned for Ruins Overdrive, followed by the Gravity Spikes, and we'll call it a day. But as always, it's been a pleasure, and I'll catch you in the next video.